Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to answer a question that I get very often. Um, if not in the form of a official question, I'll probably have it in the form of, uh, hey, I'm trying to install this or that that you talked about on the channel and I can't on Windows RT. So the general question is, what's the difference between Windows 8 in Windows RT. The interface looks the same. Tiles, um, basically you get Windows RT with an RT tablet. Uh, Windows 8 will come either with a Surface tablet or any PC. Uh, there are a few uh, laptops made by, um, I know HP is one of the manufacturers that actually uh, put out a Windows RT. Um, laptop um, but a lot of people are kind of confused uh, the interface the same what's the difference especially because of the price and that's the first difference price Windows RT runs on a ARM processor Windows 8 runs on Intel or AMD processors what's the difference Intel and AMD processors are typically the processors that run pretty much all the laptops and desktop computers in Windows. ARM processors are low power um, hungry dev processors that um, are very very different in the way they work. So that's the first thing. You can run pretty much anything you want on Windows 8 on an Intel or ARM, um, not ARM, sorry, Intel or AMD chip any types of programs. Even old software, some of them will work. Windows RT will not let you do that. It's not the same thing. It cannot run what Windows 8 will run. So the first is the price and a lot of people will actually use or buy Windows RT uh, computers because they see it that it's cheap and it seems to be the same as Windows 8 which is not the case. You can't upgrade Windows RT tablets or laptops. They will be stuck with Windows RT and the only upgrades are the ones that Microsoft will give you. Windows 8 can be upgraded and Windows 8 machines will probably be able to upgrade to Windows 9 when it comes out next year, 2015. That is a major difference. Hardware support. Now, if you have a Windows RT device, you might notice that your printer, uh, webcam, scanner, any type of device that you plug in to the device, to the, the Windows RT computer or tablet, might not work. And that's because support for Windows RT is minimal. There are no drivers from companies for Windows RT in general. So almost everything that you have will probably not work in Windows RT. Windows 8 does support a very very wide variety of hardware. Printers, scanners, webcams, mouse and so on and so on. So whatever you are using there's a pretty good chance it's gonna work in Windows 8. So that's another thing to consider. Now the interface between both Windows 8 and Windows RT are pretty much the same of the, because of the tile interface, the way you interact, the touch screen, and the menus. But there's a one major difference is that even though Windows RT does have what looks like a desktop, forget it about installing any third-party programs or applications. For example, um, you want to have Photoshop. Well, Photoshop will work in Windows 8, not on Windows RT. You cannot do that. You have an old piece of software or a game that you've seen for Windows 8. Well, it doesn't work on Windows RT. Forget it. The only way you get software off of Windows RT is from the Microsoft Store. It's the only source of software that you'll have. And that Windows RT is not compatible with regular CDs, uh, software, or regular downloading software 
uh, example I have a video where a lot of people said well um, I'm trying to download Google Chrome on my RT and it doesn't work yeah well there's no Google Chrome version for RT there's one for Windows 8 but not for RT there's a big difference uh, as for the rest, well, a lot of the features of Windows 8 are unavailable in Windows RT because it is not as powerful. Graphics and sound is, uh, especially the graphics, are not as powerful as Windows 8 machines in general. So you won't be able to do pretty much a lot on the uh, side of, you know, powerful applications. Where Windows RT shines is on battery life. If you have a Windows RT tablet or computer, you'll notice that the battery life is much, much better than Windows 8. That's thanks to the fact that ARM processors are very, very uh, good at, you know, using the minimum amount of power to do a job. Apart from that, if you aren't someone that's going to use third-party software, if the only reason you want to use a computer is email, do a little web surfing, stuff like that, well, you know what? A Windows RT tablet might actually do the job that you want it to do. And you have the added bonus is that Windows RT will not get viruses since most viruses are written for Intel or AMD based uh, machines. Because the way they infect an operating system is that they have to run in the computer. And to run in the computer, they execute code. And that code won't work in RT. So at least you are safe from viruses uh, in general with Windows RT. So these are the major, major differences between Windows 8 and Windows RT. Hopefully you understand a little more and uh, will make a better choice when it comes time to actually buy a Windows device. Hope you enjoy our videos. If you do, please subscribe to our channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have a feature of Windows, a problem, something you'd like us to help you with. Maybe we can make a video and help everyone else. Let us know. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again on the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.